In this video, you will learn how to create an Excel graph with three axes. Currently, you can see here I have generated this graph with three y axes or vertical axes. I have this set of data. First column shows the temperature, second one shows the rainfall, and third one shows the crop yield. I have displayed this data on separate axes. For example, this axis shows the crop yield, second y axis shows the temperature, and third y axis shows the rainfall. So let's learn how to create Excel graph with three y axes or vertical axes. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will generate a graph, select this data, go to insert option, and here you will find the option of charts. Select this one, which is the scatter chart. I will choose this one. Now we have successfully generated scatter plot. Currently, you can see here I have only one y axis select this data set which is the rainfall or green line place your cursor on this line and right click here you will find the option of format data series select this option now from here i will choose secondary axis i will close this one now you can see here we have two y axis now you will learn how to create third y axis Select this graph and press Ctrl D to duplicate this graph or copy this graph. Now place second graph here. Now you can see here first y axis shows the temperature and second y axis shows the rainfall. Now select this data set and press Backspace to delete this. Similarly, select second data set and press Backspace to delete this one. From this graph, I will select third data set which is the crop yield and delete this one. Now, here are two data set and here is a one data set. We have total three data sets. Now, I will select this graph, go to chart element option and from here I will deselect grid lines, select this graph, place your cursor on this chart area and right click, here you will find the option of fill, select this one. And from here, I will choose no fill. Again, select this graph, go to chart element option, and from here, I will deselect grid lines. Now, I will insert axis titles. Again, select this graph, go to chart element option, and from here, I will choose axis titles. Select second graph. Go to chart element option and from here select axis titles. Now select this one, put equal sign. This one shows the temperature. I will select the cell which contain value. You can manually write the title here. Press enter. This one shows the rainfall data. Select this one, put equal sign in formula bar and select this one, press enter. And this one shows the crop yield. Select this one, put equal sign in formula bar, select the cell which contain value and press enter. Now I will change the color of this title according to these lines. Select the axis title and I will color it as red. Select this one and change its color to red. Similarly, select this one and change their font size. Similarly, format second and third axis. Select this one and change its color to green. Select this one and change its color to green. 
select third axis and change their color to purple select this one and change its color to purple now select this graph place it on first graph now you can see here the chart titles are overlapped and the x axis data is also overlapped so we will fix this one click on this chart title right click here you will find the option of format chart titles go to text option and from here i will select no fill i will close this one now select this axis right click go to format axis option and from here i will choose 2010 maximum value is 2022 i will close this one now you can see here axis values are changed remember that always create a space here because when these overlapped i will place this axis here to display three lines together we need this space i will again place it here you can create a space here simply click here right click here and go to format axis option and from here you can adjust minimum and maximum value according to your desire as you observe that a space is already generated here so i will not do that now i will select these x axis values select this one right click go to format axis option here you will find the option of text option select this one and from here i will choose no fill now go to axis option and here you will find the option of final line go to line option and select solid line and from here i will choose red color now i will close this one i don't need x axis title i will select this one and press backspace to delete this one similarly select this one and press backspace to delete this one now select this graph and place it here again click here right click go to format axis and again go to fill and line option and select no line close this one now select this graph i will again place it here and i will remove this border select this one right click and here you will find the option of outline i will choose no outline similarly select this one click here right click and here you will find the option of outline i will choose no outline now i will again select this graph and i will place it here now click on this legend and place your cursor on this line when four arrow sign appear drag it on any location now you can see here we have successfully generated three axis graph next option is select both these graphs select this one press control key and select second one go to shape format option and from here i will select align and i will choose align middle now if you are interested to create a border around this graph go to insert option and here you will find the option of illustrations from here i will choose shape select first one create a shape around this
go to shape format option and from here i will choose shape outline black you can adjust the width of this line using this option which is the weight and shape fill i will select white now here you will find the option of send backward select this one and i will choose send to back after that select all i will choose this graph press control key select second one and this shape now you can see here i have selected all these three after that go to shape format option and here you will find the option of group click here and i will select group i will group all these after that place your cursor here on the outer side shape and you can move it easily so by following this video you can easily generate a 3 axis chart in microsoft excel that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye